we have another visitor today, and your name, sir? I'm Steve Bray from Garfield, Arkansas, building a 750 Cruiser. Advertising big. And, uh, well, it, it's the only t-shirt I've got from <laughs> them, so. From them. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. Uh, so, went up. Uh, yeah, we, we, you were, you went, uh, <clears throat> got a ride in a Viking powered airplane today. Yes. And uh, how was that? It was very good. Uh, the engine seemed to be running very smoothly. Uh, I had been up in the uh, 750 Cruiser before, but not the stall version, so that was a little bit different. But uh, my emphasis at this point was uh, looking at the engine uh, because that's the decision point that I'm at for my aircraft that I'm building. And what are the contenders as far as the, the brands or choices of engines that you've been looking at? Well, initially, uh, I was pretty sure that I was going to go with UL Power. Mm -hmm. uh, however, uh, I've become concerned about the availability of uh, the um, fuel that that engine requires. Uh, at least in my area, it's very difficult to find uh, unleaded auto gas above 91 octane and uh, they require 93 or above. Now that engine, can it run on 100 low lead or? It can run on 100 <laughs> low lead okay. uh, but it prefers auto gas okay. and uh, you know if you run it on 100 low lead uh, you need to use a scavenging agent. And today you got a flight in the Viking and uh, as far as um, uh, you know, uh, like you said, you, you're, at, you're building a cruiser and this is a stall airplane that you were able to get a, a ride in, but as far as uh, the first impression of the Viking, uh, you're just sitting there as a passenger and monitoring the gauges and, and getting a feel for a vibration, uh, is it positive? Uh, very positive, it seemed to be a very uh, smooth uh, very low vibration engine. Uh, most of the vibration and sounds I was I spent some time trying to determine what I was hearing, whether it was airframe or engine or prop or uh, whatever. And uh, from what I, my limited experience, it, it seemed to be uh, just a very uh, smooth. Uh, engine a uh, little bit different sound than uh, the UL power in the in the uh, Zenith demo okay uh, but that's to be expected it's a different engine on a different airframe sure sure now as far as shopping around for engines um, how, what are the prices looking as, uh, on various choices well obviously <coughs> uh, the entry point for, for the Viking is uh, very uh, affordable. Um, of course, you've got the uh, firewall forward, which of course uh, brings it up, but uh, it still appears to be um, as far, certainly as far as power uh, to dollar ratio, uh, very uh, much the leading contender. Uh, at least that I've looked at. Uh, okay. Well, we I, enjoyed having you here, and uh, I know you came up, uh, drove a couple hours to be here with us, mm -hmm. so we appreciate that, and uh, and uh, I'm glad the weather kind of passed through so we could get yeah, a flight. Yeah, turned out to be a nice day. Yeah. Thanks again.